It's pumpkin season, which has me wondering if pumpkin seeds can be used as a dewormer. In this video, I look at three very different studies to find out if it's true. I'll cover the basics of the three studies, including some of the nerdy bits. Stay tuned to the end when I explain in clear language what it means for you and your animals. Study 1. Delaware State University Cooperative Extension Program 2008. A small study that looked at 22 goat kids with only four data points over three weeks. The results were inconclusive, but the ending worm counts were much less than the beginning. One of the problems, some of the goats avoided eating the pumpkin seeds, making this a low quality study. They did refer to a previous study, however, that used pumpkin seeds as a drench rather than ground into flour. That study looked to be effective at reducing worm fecal egg counts. Study two, published in the Turkish Journal of Veterinary and Animal Sciences in 2019. They looked at 90 Philippine Jolo native chickens of mixed sexes and grouped them into three groups. The control group got plain chicken mash, the second group got mash with pumpkin seeds, and the third got medicated mash. They looked at three different types of worms. The study concluded that pumpkin seed has the potential to be used as a chicken dewormer, although medication was statistically more effective. But when we look closer at the data, we see that pumpkin seeds were 80.02% effective at reducing the eggs of parasitic worms. And when we look at the average for a single bird, the effectiveness jumps to 98.66% effective at reducing the eggs of parasitic worms. Now, the pumpkin seeds might not be killing all of the worms, but this shows that it reduces the next generation of parasites since most of the eggs are eliminated. We'll come back to this point later. How do pumpkin seeds kill worms? They damage the worm's protective body covering, they paralyze the worms, and they detach the worms from the gut of the host. What I found interesting in this study was the references to the traditional use of plants as medicinals, ethnomedicinals, including the treatment and elimination of parasites. This isn't something normally referenced in scientific studies. They looked at one study in particular that looked at worms and chickens using three plants. Leukina leucocephala, I know it in Hawaii as Koahali, Cassis in the South Pacific. It has many other names worldwide. It's a small, common, weedy tree known to be high in protein and often used as animal feed. Beetle nut, which comes from a type of palm tree. The nuts are commonly chewed in many countries for its narcotic effect, although it has many traditional medicinal qualities, including eliminating parasites and papaya seeds, which have many long-used medicinal qualities, including in treating internal parasites. Why are ethnomedicinal plants like pumpkin seeds better than synthetic medication? Sustainability, low environmental impact, and low toxicity to animals and human. And in the next study, we also look at drug resistance and synergy. Study three, published online by the National Institute of Health in 2016. Pumpkin seeds were used as a cold water extract, a hot water extract, and a 70% ethanol extract, looking at two model nematodes. The study analyzed the chemicals in each extract. The most effective treatments in the laboratory was then used to test the effects on animals. All pumpkin seed extracts killed nematodes in the lab, with ethanol extraction being the most effective. The effects were dose dependent. The higher the dose, the more effective. All extracts were effective against H. bakeri, but not C. elegans. The dose used on C. elegans may not have been high enough. Pumpkin seeds look to be an inexpensive alternative, a novel drug candidate, and there were no signs of negative effects, physical or behavioral, in the treated mice. This study found some interesting chemistry. Let's take a look. Cold water had the lowest variation and the smallest concentration of metabolites, although it was similar to the hot water extraction. The ethanol extract was seen as the most complex 
and interesting as a potential drug. However, water extraction was not ruled out because it's easier and cheaper. Most studies I've seen list cucurbitin as the active compound, but this study went deeper. They found many compounds that may also be responsible. They found berberine and palmitine, previously unrecorded in pumpkin seed extracts. This is an exciting finding because these chemicals might contribute to killing parasites. Berberine and palmitine are known to be effective against Leishmania, malaria, schistosoma, and toxoplasmosis. What's more, berberine is known to reduce liver damage and oxidative stress, which sometimes accompany parasitic infections. This might lead to a quicker recovery. In other words, complex plant materials may have greater effects than single chemical drug solutions. This study shows that pumpkin seeds have far more reaching benefits than simply eliminating worms. They have synergistic effects with greater effects together than in isolation. If you're interested in more of the chemistry of pumpkin seeds, my full article with links to all the studies is in the description below. Don't forget to smash the like button and we look forward to your comments. While this study used pumpkin seed extracts, it also addressed the use of ground pumpkin seed. In other studies looking at pumpkin seed flour, the doses seem to be too low. They suggest that extracts may work better because they contain more pharmacologically active plant compounds. Another problem they looked at was treating ruminants. Ruminants such as goats have microbial compounds and enzymes in their rumen and an acidic environment in their final stomach, which may degrade the active compounds. Extracts and other delivery methods may improve the effectiveness of pumpkin seeds against intestinal worms. Non-ruminants may be more easily treated with pumpkin seeds. This comprehensive NIH study also discussed ethnomedicine and drug resistance. Naturally occurring compounds found in plants and animals, such as pumpkin seeds, have been used by indigenous people, even primitive humans, to treat health problems including parasitic infections for themselves and their livestock. One benefit of using natural products like pumpkin seeds is they have little chance of long-term residues. Because synthetic dewormers are developing a growing resistance, Ethno-veterinary and ethno-medicine are now being studied with considerable efforts. Pumpkins specifically have been studied for the last decade. As I searched for scientific studies on using pumpkin seeds as a dewormer, I found a USA Today fact check article. The article said, quote, claims that pumpkin seeds can eliminate intestinal parasites is false, unquote. They point out exaggeration in social media and a lack of human trials is the reason why. Now, social media posts are prone to misinformation and exaggeration. Absolutely. Media sources that rely on revenue from companies that gain financially from drug sales over natural remedies should also be seen as suspect information. Where do their loyalties lie? The studies we just looked at clearly indicate the usefulness of pumpkin seeds. Sometimes, fact checks are there to drive an agenda. Even the NIH, a stalwart government agency, is on board with pumpkin seeds. We've seen here that pumpkin seeds can be useful in eliminating intestinal parasites. But there are some things that we need to consider before we start using them on our animals. If you're skipping all the nerdy bits, this is where you start listening back in. I've got all the timestamps listed below. These studies do show that pumpkin seeds do have value as dewormers, but there's a few things we need to consider. We need to consider the dose, how the pumpkin seeds were prepared, what animal we're using it on, and what kind of parasites they have. All of the studies we looked at mentioned dose, it seems that pumpkin seeds need a pretty high dose to be effective against worms. Preparation was also a big factor in how effective pumpkin seeds were. 
The most effective, of course, was the ethanol extraction, 70% ethanol, followed by a hot water extraction, and then the cold water extraction, the least effective being ground pumpkin seeds. They talked about how ruminants are harder to treat because of their rumen and the acidity in their stomachs. It may deactivate some of the active ingredients in pumpkin seeds. So the drenches are definitely more effective on ruminants, but they seem to be more effective on chickens as well. Of course, the most effective was the synthetic drugs. The problem with synthetic drugs is they're becoming resistant. This is a global problem. It was also harder to treat some of the parasites than others. Some parasites are really hard to kill, even with drugs. Now, the NIH study found some interesting biochemistry. Besides the cucurbitin and the cucurbitacin, they found berberine and palmitine for the first time. And not only are these chemicals effective against parasites, they, especially berberine, is known to be healing to the liver and reduces oxidative stress, so it can lead to a quicker recovery of the animals. That's one of the problems with creating drugs. They decide this is the active ingredient and they throw out all the rest. They disregard the synergy of natural remedies. And this is one of the reasons why natural remedies, because of this synergy, can be more healing and have less side effects than the drugs. There were other plants mentioned in other studies, including Leukina, Leucocephala, I know it is Coahali, betel nut, and papaya seed. So how do we put this into practice? How can we start using pumpkin seeds as a dewormer? We know we need to have a pretty high dose. We know it's harder to treat ruminants. For these reasons, it may be best to use pumpkin seeds regularly. Don't wait for the parasites to build up to such an extent that your animals are dying before you start treating them. The natural remedies are gonna have less side effects and they're not gonna build up resistance. In the practice of Korean natural farming, I think the best way to use pumpkin seeds is probably to make the pumpkin seeds into an FPJ. This will make the biochemistry more bioavailable, and it also creates small amounts of ethanol. Now it's not gonna be, the concentration of ethanol is not gonna be 75, it's not gonna be 70% like the NIH study, but it still will have ethanol and it'll still bring out more of the chemistry that kills the worms. If we make it into an FPJ, it makes it easier to give us a drench. That's important if you've got ruminants. And again, repeated doses are gonna be better. Don't wait until the parasite load is so high that you've got animals dying. Treat it before it becomes a problem. And keep in mind that even though they weren't as effective as the drugs at killing the worms, they were really effective in killing the eggs of the worms. Remember, in the second study, the average kill rate for the eggs of the parasitic worms was over 98%. That's going to greatly reduce the next generation. So if you can repeatedly give your animals pumpkin seeds, you're going to cut down the eggs, you're going to cut down how quickly the parasites reproduce and help you get a handle on it. I hope you found this information useful and I hope that you can find a way to treat your animals with pumpkin seeds. Please subscribe to the channel, put your comments below. Are you using pumpkin seeds as a dewormer? Are you using other natural remedies? We want to know. Let us know below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.